Hello students, I want to explain how to use the simulation bending light, at least the first mode that is about intro. Well, you will click on intro and then now here you have uh, this uh, laser uh, that you can move up or down, you know, like this, just uh, with different angles, okay? Uh, you have this protractor that will help you to uh, measure the angles so you will just put this mark of the protractor in the intersection between the interface between the two mediums and the normal so this dashed line you see over here is the normal so now for example you want to have an incidence angle of 10 degree you would put your laser here and you will align you know the laser with 10 degree so here you have your incidence angle of 10 degree, right? Uh, you can increase that angle, for example, to 20 degree, to 30 degree, to 40 degree, and like that. So this angle over here between the normal and the reflected, reflected rate is the reflected angle. And this angle between the normal and the refracted rate is the angle of refraction. Right? So this is the angle of reflection and the angle of refraction. Right? Now, you can also in this simulation uh, change the mediums, for example. Okay? So you can change the median. You can use the mystery A median. This is a median that you can use to later using the snail flow uh, to determine, you know, what is the index of refraction of the median and like that. You can find out in internet with the data about index of refraction uh, of what is this million make. And what else? You can also measure the intensity of the different rates. So for example, here I have the intensity of the refracted rate is 92.45%. Why the intensity of the uh, reflected rate is just 7.55%. So this is another option that it gives you, right? What else you can do? You can, instead of having a ray, you can represent a wave. But for the experiment, you know, that you are going to do in my class, uh, you're going to be using the ray instead of wave. So basically, uh, it's a very simple simulation. Uh, it's very friendly, at least the first part, you know? That is what you need for your lab about uh, index of refraction and angle of reflection and angle of refraction. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.